Phil, that was uh, Daji uh, uh, from India. And, and I just want to apologize if there was any difficulty for listeners in a few spots. Uh, we did this via Skype with me being in Iowa, Phil being in uh, Los Angeles, and Daji being in, I think, Hyderabad, India. But uh, I think yes. we got most of it through. So uh, very interesting. And, and, and actually, I was looking at their website, Phil. They are worldwide. They have many, many centers. And I must say, I had not heard of uh, heartfulness meditation before, I don't think. Nor had I until um, a mutual friend uh, told me about it. Actually, I was asked to look at the uh, book of The Heartfulness Way and uh, endorse it. Um, and Varun Soni, who is uh, a friend and right. who was one of our interview subjects, wrote the uh, introduction or forward to the book, and um, that's how we were connected. And so uh, I didn't, I had not heard about it either and was very surprised at the uh, reach of mm. um, the organization. Yeah, if, you, so, if you go to their website, they, uh, they have uh, all over, I mean, worldwide, they have a tremendous number. Uh, uh, I, I don't know that they're all... Uh, actual physical centers. I would assume some are just teachers available in the area. He mentioned a, an app uh, that they make available. Uh, and uh, we didn't, also didn't ask about the cost of the course, uh, but I'm sure that, that that can be found on the website. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I... Actually, I believe it's free. Really? I think, well, unless um, something is different online or... Um, on the or the app, but I do believe I read that uh, the teachings are offered for free. Wow! But I'm uh, we, we we should uh, we should verify that. Right. And, and and are you familiar with the lineage that uh, he would be associated I with? I, I was not familiar with the lineage, but I have I do remember hearing about uh, Ram Chandra, the person um, whom he called uh, Babuji, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, as I recall, uh, he uh, was active uh, in, in, I think, the 70s uh, in different parts of the world. But I don't know, I did not know very much about it or the lineage. Right. And uh, will it be, for, for me, it'll be interesting. I would like to speak to uh, practitioners just to get, because yeah. I'm not familiar with it, uh, most of the teachers we have come on, we have a, a little bit more familiarity with, but that's fascinating. And, and it also shows, which you bring out in your book, uh, American Veda, uh, the enormous impact uh, Eastern thinking has had on the West and, and, uh, and continues to have. And, and, not, and I think it's fair to mention now that uh, your, your new book on Yogananda out, and we're <coughs> doing this interview, where this is being taped, in June of 2018, and you are in New York. Oh, actually, I said you were in Los Angeles. You're actually in New York right now. <laughs> and moving I, I, around. No, and no, no. I was in New York. Now I'm in L.A. for a few days. And then you'll be coming uh, here to Iowa and to Chicago yeah. and promoting right. your, your, your book. Tell us, and I think it's fair that we can discuss it now, people listening in, uh, What is uh, where are some of the places that you'll be in the next few weeks? And again, this is now June, I think, 15th, Yeah, uh, people can always... Uh, well, what's after, your website? Where do they go to get it? Uh, PhilipGoldberg.com. I'll, I'll be in Seattle. All, and, people ask me all the time, so I think it's fair okay. to bring up, yeah. Well, I'll be, I'll be doing some more events in L.A. in July and August, uh, in July, and then I'll be in Seattle and Portland in July, and then India uh, to lead another American Veda tour in September. But I don't want to talk about go to my website and find out. But one of the interesting things, since you mentioned uh, Yogananda, one of the interesting things in researching Yogananda's life and work and all the other gurus who I had to research in American Veda, they all made a similar transition when they came to the West of having uh, to adapt to uh, the methods of teaching in the in the modern world in the Western culture, 
and to accommodating uh, larger numbers of students. And so there's, there was, in all these cases, especially, you know, Yogananda came in the 1920s, the, the, the methods of teaching yogic meditation practices are usually one-on-one, -on -one, a guru to a devotee. And then suddenly, as Daji said about heartfulness, they had to uh, find different methods so they could teach to larger numbers of people. Yogananda started his famous correspondence course in the 20s, and that was radical to teach certain methods by, you know, essentially mail order. And, um, and now Daji's talking about transmission using apps right. and websites. Well, 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 Phil, and didn't he, did I hear correctly when he said he instructs about 5,000 people a week? Yeah. That, that's, how do that's you do that? You can't do that one-on-one. -on -one. That's 260,000 <laughs> people a year. Let's say two, 250,000 if he takes a couple of weeks off. But that, that is yeah, enormous. And obviously, think, if that's the case, yeah. it, doesn't, uh, in, it, does, it couldn't possibly involve any feedback from the student. It must be just really clear cut because often, uh, you know, we both uh, were trained to teach TM. Uh, you teach and then you get feedback and you give instruction and it goes back and forth like that. Uh, but obviously, yes. this is uh, very streamlined. And uh, yeah, that's why I'd be curious to speak to somebody who's a practitioner to see, yeah. uh, to ask those questions. Yeah, and I don't know the extent. I mean, Matt, perhaps the follow up is done uh, online. Uh, or there are teachers in local areas. I, we should have asked him about that, but people can inquire. Um, the, 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 I'm hearing a lot of uh, extraneous noise. Is something going on? Uh, there's some workmen outside, but other than that, uh, <laughs> okay. and, uh, nothing. Um, um, one, uh, in, in looking through his book, um, The Heartfulness Way, I mean, he brings in the Yoga Sutras, and various uh, other aspects of uh, Indian philosophy. Or, um, and so it's grounded in tradition and in the you know, perspective of, of yoga philosophy and Vedanta philosophy. So it's, it would seem he explains all of that. And... Uh, apparently, the, one of the key in why they call it heartfulness is there's a uh, the attention is t is brought to the area of the heart in in this meditation, and it seems to be a kind of uh, effortless uh, practice after that involves just sit, sitting with the attention in the heart. He talks ab about divine light coming from the heart as uh, as a feeling um, but it's 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 not a, from what I can tell it's not a practice that uh, requires or calls for a, a great deal of effort or mind control it's quite the opposite it's a, a, a kind of um, more effortless right. practice but what, what I think I'll do Phil and I can tell the listeners about this at some point uh, I, I, I've gone to the website. I'll probably call one of their centers and discuss some of that stuff with uh, one of their teachers. But I mean, there are dozens of, of centers all over the U.S. And, uh, you know, you just click and it gives you a phone number. Because I would like to uh, follow up on some of that. And uh, I'm just yeah. curious because I, it's, it, I, I'm shocked that I, neither of us are familiar with it because we usually keep up on these things, you especially. Uh, and so uh, I, I'm fascinated by that. And also, uh, I, I think it's great if it can be used properly uh, to use modern technology, like we're using Skype or anything else to uh, spread uh, 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 technologies that help people get through the day and, 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 and <laughs> live uh, calmer lives or uh, reach higher states of consciousness. And I can't see any reason why that's not possible. And uh, when we studied back in the day with Maharishi, he seemed to very much embrace uh, modern technology and uh, yeah. and think of ways it can be used. With, and back then it was videotapes and whatnot. But with the Internet, right. uh, we should be able to raise human awareness more quickly. And 
If there was ever a time when human awareness needed to be raised, it's now. Uh, but I won't get into that. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, but uh, a right. uh, uh, very interesting guy and uh, very happy we had him on. So uh, and, and uh, more on it, whatever I find out about uh, further information, I'll make sure we get that information out to our listeners. So thank you very for listening, good. listeners. <laughs> okay, and we'll Phil, see you next time. Happy travels. All right, take care. Thank you, sir.